four more little bunny baskets or bunny pots hopping off soon so this is made from the Aliexpress yarn I used two strands together so that it, they would make a good size or a decent size perfect for putting all your little makeup bits in or bits of jewellery look at the little pom 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 tails so yes there's four two in a blush pink and two in grey and they're very soft really really soft so this is a free pattern um, but I did make up the ears because I, I couldn't make uh, I couldn't understand the pattern because I, it might be in Russian I'm not sure I managed to translate most of it um, but yeah I did wing the ears a bit so yeah there we go four little bunny pots soon hopping off to their new home Here's another plushy bunny off to its new home. Now with this one I used a really chunky chenille yarn from Aldi. And I just want to show it in comparison to the other little plushy bunnies that I made. And you can see how, uh, how much bigger it is. I thought it was going to be too big. But actually it, it's, it's not overly big. I mean this one sits in like the palm of your hand. But this one's just a, a lovely cute, cute size. So I'm really impressed with the Aldi yarn and pleased with the way it turned out. So I'll leave a link below to the pattern that I bought from Etsy. I've had a go at making some coasters. I've used Stylecraft DK in mustard. Uh, it's a free pattern from some people on Instagram called Eleanor and Camilla. So I'll leave a link for them below. Um, there's three um, different designs on the pattern. The middle bit is all the same. And then it's just the edging which is different. So this one has got this sort of like holy holy uh, edging and then this one has the pico edging so these two will be going off to my lovely neighbour later on today so I've just finished this Donald Trump I was asked to make this uh, to go with a Boris bear which I made this is adapted from the Yarn It Darn It Frontline Hero Bear pattern um, the body and the legs are the same um, I just made the head a bit thinner and <laughs> tried to get as, as good a, a trump face as I could get and then with some of that lovely yellow hair that he has so there's my Donald Trump going off to his Boris Bear so I've been recently asked to make um, a, a crochet doll. Uh, this is for somebody that's um, a local magician where I live. His name is Mr. Baldini and he asked me to make a doll of himself as a magician. So here he is with his red and black waistcoat, his top hat, putting the bunny out the hat. Um, the basis of the doll is from a Yarnful Day blog spot and it's called the Maya Basic Doll Pattern. That's what I followed for the body um, but for the head um, I just made it slightly slimmer as the doll pattern is it's got quite a, a round head um, like almost as big as the body so well not as big as the body I mean in width not in length so there we go there's Mr Baldini going off to do some magic tricks later on today here we have two more bunnies going off to their new homes today 
that it's exactly the same pattern just different size of yarn the pattern I bought from Etsy and is called bunny long ears and the Instagram tag is at cute underscore bunny underscore co uh, the larger bunny is made from Aldi baby yarn chenille baby yarn in this lovely light blue and the smaller bunny is made from this velvet yarn which I got from AliExpress. Same pattern, just different uh, different sizes because the size of the thread and the size of the hook. So those two baby boy bunnies will soon be going off to their new little homes. And how cute are they? Oh. So I had a go at making one of these little octopuses or jellyfish uh, mine is more of an octopus I gave him eight little legs and they're all the same rather than the jellyfish that have the slightly longer tendrils so this is my little octopus I he's in three different color purples it's like a mid color purple for his head or body head and uh, then a, a, like a, um, a power lilac and a purple for his legs um, and uh, yeah he'll be going off soon this was a free pattern from Amagurumi today but these octopus stroke jellyfish patterns are all over Pinterest and you'll easily find one um, online so yeah this just took me an evening to make very pleased with it and I'll be delivering him soon wee 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 Thank you.